Equal pay, equal pay. Seconds after the final whistle blew at the Women's World Cup chance for equal pay could be heard filling the stadium in Lyon. A stark reminder that for the American champions, their biggest fight is perhaps not the pitch. It's waiting for them back in the courts in the United States. The U.S. women's team is suing their employers, the U.S. Soccer Foundation. Federation, beg your pardon. Um, the lawsuit alleges that, in effect, their male counterparts earn more when they lose than the women get when they win. Now... In a hypothetical, if the men and women each won 20 games, a female player makes $99,000, a man would make over 250000 263 to be precise. The US women's team has undeniably had much more success. Four World Cup wins, four Olympic gold medals. The men, nada, nothing. No trophies at all. They didn't even qualify for the last World Cup. There are many complicating factors. Women, of course, get a basic salary, a base salary men get paid per match. The tournaments have different bonus structures. The Men's World Cup makes much more money globally, sponsorship and television rights, and it's difficult to calculate the sponsorships. The women say they are also denied equal training and travel conditions, as well as equal promotion for their games. The US team captain, Megan Rapinoe, says it's time for the Federation to set things right. It's not good for them, is it? <laughs> um, I mean, I think, obviously, it's huge. Um, you know, I think we've been um, a little shy to say that, you know, putting so much pressure on ourselves because I think we have a case no matter what. Um, obviously, we brought the lawsuit, but this just, you know, sort of blows it out of the water. It's like, is it even about that anymore? Is it just kind of about doing the right thing? Um, I think the, the Federation is in a unique position to, you know, kind of ride this wave of good fortune and, and get on board and um, hopefully set things right for the future.